turn the camera around. Hello, hi. Hello. Ah. Coming? Uh, sorry, Thank you very much. And there's sort of tune chat tune. Great. Super. Tune chat tune. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, I guess you might find a bit Super. of introduction stuff first. Have you all been to Jersey before? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Been, yes. Oh, great. Super. So you've got to play a tune first. If I just do a bit of an introduction, then you're going to play. <coughs> yes. Stop. Which mic are you using for the tune? <coughs> you have to point yours. Oh, which mic? That one's You're not going to use these or anything? No. no okay. Cool. Oh, okay. It's a bit easier. Not you, Kelly, Sorry? you won't hear the talk back because it's really quiet. Right, okay. But you'll hear. I won't hear the talk back. She's, gonna, she's just going to open the fader and end the tune. You're right, and I'll pick up. This one's best if you go there. And I'll stand behind you. Okay. You've got left handed control by any chance. I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. There's somebody at the door. He'll go and do it, it's all right, won't take a minute. <laughs> we all multitask here. If it goes really the pretenders to finish, won't be a minute. If it goes really badly, we can CD can put on instead. Oh lovely, thank you very much. Thank you. So we're gonna do marches and then the guy after. Okay. <coughs> Which island are we on? Is this Sark? No, it's Jersey. Jersey. Well, they've got a BBC side. Uh -huh. No, they take Guernsey. <laughs> Jersey. Just hear the radio from here. 20 seconds, gents. Are you going to say something before we play, or are we just going to go straight? <laughs> You'll do a bit of chat. Okay. <coughs> Excellent. Out the Pretenders pocket. and Brass in Pocket. I'm going to be talking to Falcon Bob, the Dragon, Kelvin the Claw, and the Sultan, all in just a moment or two. I've left the confines and comfort of my studio, and they're going to be playing live for us here at BBC Radio Jersey, ahead of a performance tonight at the Jersey Art Centre. They are collectively known as the Budapest Cafe Orchestra, and this is what they sound like. <laughs>
live for us this morning here on BBC Radio Jersey, the Budapest Cafe Orchestra, back to entertain and enchant for one night only at the Jersey Bar Centre. So. They are a remarkable group of men. The group comprises of four players, a violin, guitar, accordion, double bass, and I'm told there's a balalaika here somewhere, is there? A balalaika is a waiting at the art centre for us for tonight's concert. We could only bring the guitar, he's only got two hands, so we'll save that for the gig tonight. All right, yes, you've, you've kept something back in reserve. Introduce me to the team. Uh, well, on guitar, we've got Adrian Zolotuhin, who plays the balalaika, the guitar and the dombra, and also the Turkish saz. And on accordion, we have Eddie Hessian, who plays the button accordion, and uh, very complicated. And on double bass, we have Kelly Cantlon, and myself, uh, Chris Garrick on violin. But you've also got other names, nom de plume, if you like, haven't you? Well, we do, yeah, and you just announced them beautifully at the beginning. And I, we always forget that we've even got them on the website. It was something that happened at the beginning of the band. Uh, many years ago, and uh, although we don't use them ourselves, it's quite an amusing way of uh, describing it because we, although we take the music very seriously, we um, don't take ourselves too seriously. So we like to have those as a bit of a fun, fun aspect to what we do. All right, let's. What have you just played for us? Tell us a bit about that. Well, we was just play a piece uh, which is Tin Chun from, um, uh, I believe, very popular radio series in this country uh, called Archers. Uh, with a little bit of 60s um, song thrown in there for a bit of fun. Yeah, there were a bit of the kinks in there, weren't there, among others? A little bit, yes. Yeah. Do you enjoy playing this kind of crossover music, then? Well, I live it. It's a part of my life. It's in the very blood running through my veins. How do you choose this style of music? How do you choose what tunes to play? Oh, my God, how do you choose? Um, he just gets just told what to do. Yes, <laughs> 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 do. <laughs> Whatever sounds good, you know, we'll, we'll take it on. So how did you all come together, then? I mean, what's the creative genius that made this work, then? Uh, his name is Chris Garrick. <laughs> <laughs> so you're to blame. I'm, I'm much to blame. Yeah, we 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 had the idea of the band to um, bring together jazz, uh, improvisation, Eastern European folk music, and um, a few guys that really enjoyed working together and have fun, and also be be successful at playing the music together. But coming to Jersey is kind of a bit of a, a tradition for fiddlers because my old teacher Johnny Van Derrick made a bit of a name for himself on Albany, played there many times, and also. One of my old friends, Nigel Kennedy, of course, the Isle of Sark, even naming his son after him. So it's really nice as a fiddler to be visiting the island. And this is our third tour now, so uh, thrilled to be back again. It must have gone well the last time. Yeah, it's good to have you back, and it's great to have a venue like the Art Centre, which can pack 300 people in and hopefully enjoy the music. Yeah, and this afternoon, apparently, there's 300 little ones coming to hear us play for an hour, so we're, we're a bit scared of that, to be honest. But if we get through that, we'll be there tonight. <laughs> now, your performances are full of energy. I mean, what can we expect to come this evening? Uh, well, something, something like that, but also some very slow, melancholic music as well. It's a whole wide range of material from Gaelic Scotland through to Eastern Europe and some Russian music um, as well. Uh, so it's, all, it's very melodic, it's very rhythmic, and it's acoustic. So it won't sort of blast your ears too much, but hopefully take you on a wee emotional journey. But the chap pushing all the buttons over there is an Orcadian. Do you have any music from Orkney? We do have some music from Orkney, yeah. We have made an album called The Gaelic Chronicles, which features uh, music from all over the Highlands and Islands of Scotland. And we'll be playing some of that tonight as well. Do you have any particular favourites? You're here on the double bass. Your yeah. double bass preceded you. It arrived before you this morning. Yeah, it's not my bass because we couldn't uh, get it on the plane. So, um, I just, uh, it doesn't fit the easy jet baggage check, does it really? It doesn't fit any kind of baggage <laughs> check, no. It does not go in a, you can put it in the hold, but uh, yeah. it's, too, it's a bit risky actually. Are you the awkward one that whenever you travel you have to find a double bass wherever you turn up? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. I've actually got my own double bass. Yeah, it's just that um, carrying it around between the islands is difficult. It's like it won't go on the plane. No, it won't. So who, who, who's lent you the double bass? Uh, I've got no idea, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it just appears. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they to me. yeah um, I don't know who's been put on it, but uh, I'm glad they did, otherwise I'd be uh, have to make a key jet play. Oh, yes. Yeah. Skiffle, though. Yeah. yeah. Do you play skiffle? No. Nah. <laughs> 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 Pretty tricky, then, really, yeah. So what are you going to do with the youngsters this afternoon, then? Is this a, a school group you've got? I think there's several schools coming in. I don't know how many, but several schools. And we're just going to do an introduction to the band, to the music, the instruments, and then we play us a few tunes, and then maybe some interactive stuff, get them clapping, singing, dancing a bit. So it's about the music and about just this involvement and uh, engagement with music, and, and then try and persuade them to get their parents to buy some tickets for the gig. Uh, it seems to work for me. I think it's <laughs> really good. I think, I'm sure you just being here this morning will encourage people to buy some tickets. I suppose we're going to give the phone number, haven't we? It's 700 4 or of course, you can go to the Art Centre website, artcentre.je. It's 8 o'clock tonight. Tickets are £17, but if you can 
claim that you're a student. Only 11 quid. That's a bargain, isn't it? A bargain for live music. Which is the best butter in the islands? Now, is it Jersey, Alderney, or Sark, or Guernsey? Well, only Jersey butter, of course, <laughs> is the best butter. Isn't it? There's no other kind Which of is the yellowest? Oh, Jersey butter is the okay, yellowest right. and creamiest, okay. and, and just cross your arteries the quickest, I think. All right, okay, brilliant. Yeah. Perfect. Well, well, goulash. Well, get on our goulash. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. The colour. Why Eastern European music? Well, it started off like that just because the first records that I heard were from the wonderful band called the Budapest Dance Ensemble. So that was my first introduction to that kind of music. But then it spread quick, quickly from there to Romania, Moldavia, and Russian, and further afield into Norway, and then further uh, even over to some Gaelic Scotland. And it could be just about from anywhere, as long as it's, it's a good tune. Um, the continuity, I guess, is because it's the instruments that we play, so it kind of all works together. The source of the music can be just about from anywhere. So I always say it's gypsy and folk-flavoured music from around the world. What about adding some Channel Island music? What's that sound like? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're the musicians. <laughs> Maybe we could, so we could make something up. We actually, we something should do some research. Jerry, we'll, we'll research that. I'll go on for next time. We'll something in Sarkis or Genesiers or Gerrier. Yeah, we, in we'll, our native languages. I haven't come across it yet, but I guess there might be something. Maybe French influence from the past. I suspect so. You yeah. mentioned fiddlers. Well, we've got a finance industry here, haven't we? So we could find plenty of that. <laughs> finance industry, fiddlers industry. Sounds good, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, look, we look forward to seeing you tonight. You're going to play one more tune for us. What are you going to play? Uh, well, we thought we'd play something very fast, but I think we'll play something slow instead. Is that a nice thing to do? Yeah, absolutely. Lunch? Thank you all very much indeed. Before you go, let me just remind us that uh, you're going to be on at the Arts Centre tonight. It's £17 for adults, £11 for students, 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, and it's the third time that the Budapest Cafe Orchestra have been here in Jersey. Make them welcome tonight with a sellout, artscentre.je, if you want to book. And we'll have one more tune from them tonight. <laughs>
Orkney, eh? Yeah. Yeah, that was bleak. <laughs>